Hello, this is Mr. McGovern, and welcome to this video on rotational motion. This is the first video, so we're going to look at an introduction to rotational motion, what it is and how we treat it in physics. So today we're going to looking at uh, the difference between rotational motion and circular motion, and we're going to look at uh, two new definitions, frequency and time period. So this year we're going to separate these ideas of circular motion and rotational motion out. Uh, circular motion, we're going to give a definition of uh, an object traveling around a path, um, around a point that is not its own center of mass. And compare that to rotational motion, where an object is going to rotate around its own center of mass. The easiest way to do this is with an example. So we have a merry-go-round here and some kids on the merry-go-round. We consider the kids traveling in circular motion because they are traveling around another point, not their own center of mass. Whereas the merry-go-round itself is undergoing rotational motion. It's spinning about its own center. So when you get to university physics, we start treating these um, together, circular motion and rotational motion. But it's easier in level three if we, we think of them as two separate ideas. The kids are traveling around another point whereas the merry-go-round is spinning about a, a point on its own center of mass. So, so why do we distinguish rotational motion? Why can't we just treat it as circular motion? The issue is if the diagram on the right here is uh, looking down on, say, a merry-go-round, and if you consider two points on the merry-go-round, A on the outside and B more towards the center, and you think about as this merry-go-round spins around, these different parts have to travel different distances around the circle. Now, for example, part B travels in a smaller circle because it's closer to the middle, whereas part A travels a larger distance because it's near the outside. So even on the same merry-go-round, different parts of the merry-go-round travel a different distance as it does a rotation. They both take the same amount of time to do a rotation, so they therefore travel at different speeds. So within the same merry-go-round, as it spins, different parts of the merry-go-round are traveling at different speeds. And you think about every single atom now within this merry-go-round is probably traveling at a different speed than every other atom in the merry-go-round. So that becomes very difficult to try and think of and deal with. So instead of measuring um, the speeds of the different parts, we just talk about how many rotations the full merry-go-round has done. And the speed we measure is rotations per second instead of using just normal speed of meters per second. So we have a name for that, which we call frequency. Frequency is our, our new word to describe rotations per second. It has a symbol F, and the unit is hertz. One hertz is equivalent to one rotation per second. Two hertz is two rotations per second. We can also measure uh, rotations using time period. Now, time period specifically means the time to do one complete cycle or one complete rotation. It is different than just measuring time. When we measure normal time of, say, you know, a, a car moving, we would use um, a lowercase t, but the symbol for time period for something that's completing a cycle, one cycle of that, the symbol is um, a capital T with the units s for seconds. And we can calculate between the two. Time period and frequency are related to each other with the following formulas. The time period is 1 over frequency, and if we rearrange that, we get frequency as 1 over time period. Thank you for this video.